It's a road there back. I just walked by it. I will try to photograph her. So uh, my local photo store, Stavanger Photo, felt sorry for me for dragging around with a heavy lens and a heavy camera. So they were re really kind to lend me the Z6 and uh, the 300mm f4 PF lens. So I'm going to test this out. I'm out in the woods and uh, hopefully I can find some road there, maybe birds, uh, maybe go down to the local pond and see if we can photograph ducks, just to test this out. <laughs> it's so light, it's so light to drag around, it's so much different than the 500mm F4 together with my new Nikon D4S. So, this is a world of difference, but I have no idea how the quality is going to be, how the autofocus is going to be. I have <laughs> checked out beforehand that someone uh, says that the autofocus isn't that fast, so... But yeah, I'm going to test it out and hopefully I can find some to, to photograph. I'm at the pond to try to photograph some ducks and gulls. I can also see a golden eye female a little bit further out. So, yeah, this is, um, it feels so light that it's uh, really, uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, it's a little bit unusual for me. It feels a little bit weird for me to have this small camera in my hand. <laughs> I'm used to bigger, bigger cameras, so it's, yeah, it's of course really good because you don't need to uh, care about any weight or anything. But yeah, let's try to photograph something. Look at this. So I see that the autofocus isn't easy to work with in uh, this camera here. 
It's really hard. It's all, always trying to hunt and find the subject. So I, I see that I, I need to um, override it with manual focus to get the bird focused. I'm a little tempted to get out the 500 millimeter and put the 500 millimeter on this camera here. There is a great crested grebe further out. Looks like some, some of the shots, flight shot, is actually sharp. So that's good. Uh, I see that when the gull is flying a little bit more calm, it's easier to track the focus. But when the action happens fast, uh, the autofocus is more, more uh, struggling to hit the bird. To sum it up, the camera is really easy to carry around with and when you are walking it's always easy to just like take it up and be ready if some action happens. The only issue with that is that uh, it takes a little bit of time for the camera to go from standby modus to like ready modus. Uh, so uh, that is a little bit issue if you need to like it quick to grab your camera and get some quick shots But uh, it's really easy and uh, not heavy so you can carry it around the neck uh, I think this is the camera which I need to use a lot more to uh, To get used to because uh, there is still thing I'm fumbling around with and the autofocus isn't like quite there uh, which I am used to on a DSLR uh, but uh, yeah, judging it from looking on the screen back of the screen the, some of the shots are really sharp so I think it's a good image quality and uh, yeah so I'm really happy uh, for testing it out and uh, looking forward to look at a picture when I'm coming home and I hope you enjoy this little testing video uh, and uh, Yeah, I will see you next time. Bye It's a road there back. I just walked by it I will try to photograph her. This is heavy. There's a roader buck. There's a roader buck just inside the forest there.